Hey guys, Vijo here and I'm back with another video and in today's video, I'm going to teach you guys how you can increase your internet speed. So this is going to be the overall speed of your internet and for the demonstration purposes, I'm going to use Windows 10. It should work on Windows 7 or lower. This video is to increase the internet speed of your PC. So if you want to see how you can increase the download speed, watch this video which has just popped up in the i button. And if you want to see how to increase the torrent speed, watch this video of mine. Without further ado, let's get started with the video. These are just some simple tricks or edits which you can do in your Windows PC which will increase your internet speed. So it doesn't matter wherever you live, this is going to work for you. Uh, so first of all, we are going to delete the temporary files of your Windows PC. So just click Windows button and R and type in percentage temp percentage and click enter i'll leave all these codes everything else in the description so if you don't understand a single thing i'm saying you can just go ahead and read the description so these are all the temporary files that your windows pc has generated and you what you have to do is select all control a and delete them these are just the temporary files that are going to be deleted sooner or later from your windows pc this won't change anything on your computer. So the files which cannot be deleted, which are running in the background right now, just skip them. If you get an error like this, if you don't, it's totally fine. So if you want to know what all these changes are, read the description. I haven't explained much in this video. I'll just show you all the steps as it would have been a very long video. So next up, we're going to flush domain name system cache in order to do that just press windows and r button once again and type in cmd and once you're in the command prompt what you have to do is type in ipconfig slash flush dns And you should get a prompt like successfully flush the DNS resolver cache. Just close it. Next, we are going to edit the bandwidth limit of your PC. So Windows reserve 20% of the total internet that you have for their services like Windows Update and Windows Firewall and stuff like that. So in order to disable that and get 20% extra speed boost, what you have to do is press uh, press Windows button and R button once again and type in gpedit.msc Wait for it to load And local group policy editor should be opened up So once you're here just Go to administrative templates, go to network, scroll down till you find QS, QOS packet scheduler, open it up and here you will see limit reservable bandwidth. Click on it, right click on it and click on edit. And for normally it should be not configured since I have already tested these settings. You will see that applied already on my PC. So click on enable. Here it should be written 80% in your case. Just turn that to zero as zero defines unlimited speed. Click apply and click OK. Close that window. Next up, we are going to disable all the background apps that are running on your PC. Click on the start button and type in background apps. You should see this. Click enter. And here you have to disable all the background apps which, which you think that are not necessary for them to run in the background and suck up all your internet speed. So just disable all the apps which you think are unnecessary. And as I said, you can read the description if you want to understand the meaning of these terms and what these settings are actually changing. 
Next, we are going to change your domain name system. So for that, go to control panel. Go to network and internet, network and sharing center. After that, look at the left panel and click change adapter settings. And if you have an ethernet connection, you should see ethernet enabled like a tech mark under here. Or you have a, if you have a Wi-Fi, you will see Wi-Fi here. Just select your internet connection and click on internet protocol version 4 and click properties and for you here it will show obtain a dns server automatically click on use following dns server and type in 8888 and in alternate dns server type in 8844 i will leave the link to a website which shows all the dns servers and you can see which works best for you but 8888 is global and after that click on ok so next what you have to do is log in into your routers setting and update your firmware so this will be different for everyone for me it will be different and for you it might be totally different it all depends upon modems firmware and how to log in into your router just go on to this website, I'll leave the link to it in the description. It is called routerlogin.pro. It has all the companies of router. From here you have to select which router company you have. So I'm just going to go with Netgear as I have a Netgear router. Click on it. Click search. And here it will show you all the models along with the username and the password. So check your router's model number in order to log in into your router's website. What you have to do is type in CMD command prompt and from here type in IP config and in front of default gate, you will see address just copy it and paste it on your and paste it on your address bar. And hit enter and it should ask you your username and password which will you will get from here but usually the username is admin and the password is password just click sign in once you're signed into the website of your modern you have to find an option where you can upgrade your firmware if it is available but you can also leave this step if you want to it's not necessary but if you want a totally good speed you can go ahead and do it So that's about it for this video guys hopefully your internet speed increased make sure to watch this video of mine in which i've explained how you can increase the download speed of your pc how you can increase the download speed and make sure to watch the torrent video in which i've explained how you can increase the download speed of your torrent files if you have any doubts make sure to comment and if you got some video suggestions i'd like you to post them in the comments and i'll see you in the next video.